हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन दी आई आई टी जे एम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू मैथमेटिक्स टूडे वी विल सी अबाउट ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दी लिमिट्स एंड कंटिन्यूटी आस इन दिस पेपर सो लेट्स फर्स्टली गो थ्रू दैट हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन आर देयर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू दिस दैट इज यू हैव टू फाइंड द लिमिट एंड दिस पार्ट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज यू हैव टू फाइंड विच वन इज दॉलोइंग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द फॉल स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम दीज टू फंक्शन एच एंड जी नेक्स्ट वन इज यू हैव टू फाइंड द इंटीग्रेशन ओवर द लिमिट and this one is of uh, filling the blanks rounding of the two decimal places of this and the last one is you have to found uh, another question is of 59 i now how you can solve these five questions within a few minutes we can see in this video so let's see the question number one is there so you have to find the limit r here now if you closely look about this option so since this is a summation which varies from the k it means this part is constant with respect to this limit so i can write this part as n approaches infinity n plus one minus of root this and divided by k uh, multiply by this over here. Now how you can solve this part is there. Over this part, how you can solve this is from two to infinity one upon say n l of n of two of d n and this part is separate out. And all of you know that this series, oh, sorry, uh, this series one by n log of n raised to power p is convergent when. when p is greater than 1 but here you can see that 2 is greater than 1 so it means this series is my convergent one this is convergent what is the meaning of that it will give you a finite value so assume that that finite value is alpha so what is the remaining part is there this is limit and approaches infinity i can rationalize them it will be my here of the finite value now what is the value of this when n approaches infinity that goes to the zero is the right answer so this is the way second method is that there is another method also you can do like this way so what you can do is up to here how you can do that you can integrate this part that is uh, limit and approaches infinity i can rationalize them this is here now what is that this is nothing but my what is that this is 1 upon l of n you can see that if you consider l of n is y then 1 by n of dn is nothing but dy so this will be here from 2 to infinity so uh, if 2 to n sorry so 2 to n so if you take the limits are there so what will happen this is 1 by ln of 2 minus 1 upon ln of this again you can substitute the n as infinity this will goes to the zero so again the right answer is this look at the another question is there you have to find that which one is the false statement over the function h and g so look about that first fun this is the first part which is independent of the h and g so you can substitute directly values are here so what will happen this is nothing but my 2 pi over 3 so what is that this is uh, what is that 2 by 3 pi is nothing but my minus 1 by 2 so this is my correct statement but we need a false statement again this function is independent of the h and g so again we can do that what we can do is you can substitute the value so y minus this is outside so this is ln of x so e minus greatest integer of ln of e so what is the greatest integer of the e that is a 2.718 greatest integer is my 2 so this is e minus 2 ln of e is my 1 so this is also the correct statement now you have to think about these two g and f so if you substitute here firstly i i will check upon this if you substitute the value of y here so it will be my 0 what is that g, limit x approaches 0 of gx so this is 1 so what is the limit x approaches 0 either you take 0 negative and you have to take zero positive so limit is my here so what is the limit of this as x approaches zero minus it's a plus 1 this is again a plus 1 so the limit of this is my plus 1 this is also the correct statement so the only option is my here is the right answer for this problem as you can see that this is root 2 and 2 if you substitute here it will be if i consider as m is my x square minus y so this will become minus 1 by m and you can see x square minus y is here so if you consider m as a zero negative m as a zero positive this limit does not exist so here is the zero so that's why this is the wrong statement look at the another one is there so you have to find the limit of this and here so before solving this we have to look about the options are there and try to discard them so you can see that this option can never be true why because if you if you uh, look about this integration what is that this is nothing but my here and you can see both the both the uh, parts are similar just 
the what is the difference between them is here is the a here is the b it means whatever the answer of this if i say a is the answer of this and b is the answer of this it should be the negative sign it can't be one is a negative one is the positive it means this option is cancel out be also you can see these are the both negative again this is not possible so it means either the a or the d is the right answer now how you can solve uh, this part are there so what i can do is i can simply uh, solve for here whatever the answer i can obtain this in terms of the uh, a then i can replace a to the b then i can get the required answer so now we how you can do that i can sim simply take a of this is my u then what is my t is my root of a by root of u a so what is that this is nothing but my this so i can substitute the value here this is limit of e raised to power minus u this is t square that is a u is outside constant 1 by this a root of a of du so this a and this a is 1 by root a is outside 2 is outside from this is 3 by 2 of e of this limit from 0 to n as n approaches infinity is here so what is that do you remember which which part is there yes this is the gamma function of n plus 1 you all knows that gamma function of the n minus 1 of e raised to power minus x is here whatever the here this is the plus 1 is there so this is gamma function of half what is that gamma function of half is root pi so this is a so it means the answer of the first part is root pi by root a sorry this is a also be there sorry i forget a so it means this should be uh, a is here so it means this is root pi root a by 2 so what is the answer of this is root a pi what is the answer of this is just simply replace a by b so what is the right answer of this so it should be divided by 2 also be there so this is the right option otherwise none of the answer is the correct one so a minus this is the most appropriate answer of this look at this problem is there how you can solve that that's again a very simple problem is there so uh, how you can solve this one since this is the power 4 this is a power 5 so i can take one as a outset so what is that i can write this part of r by n raised to power 4 r varies from 1 to n how you can write this part i can write this is summation of n this is can be written as n plus r now what is the limit is r varies from 1 what is that i can write this as n plus of 3n so it varies from here limit n approaches infinity now how you can solve that i can integrate this part if i take x as of r by n what is the d of x is 1 by n of dr so 1 by n is there so i can take this as of x raised to power 4 of dx what is the limit is r varies from 1 to n so what is the r by n varies from here as n approaches infinity this part goes to the zero and n by n is my 1 so it will be 0 to 1 what is the answer of this part is 1 by 5 now how you can solve this i can take root of n is common so root of n is outside this is here so what is that this is 1 plus r by n now again this is 1 to 3n so i can write this part as of 1 plus x i can take x of r by n so what is the limit is r varies from 1 to 3n if you divide it by n on the both side this is the limit of the x it goes to the zero as n approaches infinity is 3 0 to 3 now what is the limit what is the answer of this problem is there so what is that this is 1 plus x this is a minus half it's a plus half upon plus half from 0 to 3 plus 1 by 5 is there so what is that this is 3 plus 1 4 4 square root what is the 4 square root is my 2 so it will be 2 plus 2 is 1 by 5 plus it will be 4 2 and 2 plus 2 2 into 2 4 minus 0 it's a 0 and 1 uh, 1 and 2 are there so this is a 2 point point 5 is my point 2 so the right answer is my 2.20 is the right answer look at the last question are there how you can solve this problem again it's a very simple are there if you closely look about the values are there now if you substitute zero what is that this is f of 0 ln 2 so it will means this is ln 2 minus ln 2 upon f of 0 is ln 2 minus ln 2 so that will be the zero by zero form so it means you have to apply the allopter rule are there but if you see that f of 0 and f of g of 0 same f of 0 prime f dash 0 prime is same they are same these are the non zero are there it means you have to uh, uh, differentiate this 
0 by 0 form 3 times v. So how you can solve that? I can simply integrate this part 3 times and I can replace the value of f by g. So what is that? If you integrate first time, it will be f, f dash. If you integrate second time, it will be my f dash square plus ef of f double dash. So I can take right like here. This is my two times. Now if you take a, a differentiate third times, what will happen? This is f dash, f dash square plus f double dash plus e of f. Now you can integrate them or differentiate them to f double dash plus f of triple dash. Now this is the value of the uh, e f of three times. Same we can do for here, but we can replace f by g. Now, but since these values are same, these values are same. So what is that? If you substitute this value, this value will be cancelled out. This value will be cancelled out. Only value left is here. It means this numerator part will be my EF triple dash. Similarly for the G is my here divided by this. Now, what is that? E of F, what is that? E raised to power F is two. So it will be two. It's a pi of nine. What is the e of g is again 2 and this is my pi of 3 pi cube this is pi raised to power 9 and here. So 2 will be common and the rest part is cancel out 2 will be the right answer of this problem. So you can see that it's a very simple task we can solve these 5 6 question in a very simple manner. We will see some infinite series questions in our next class of the IIT JM papers till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students. Happy luck.